welcome to another edition around my kitchen table. I'm Roger Wilkinson and today I want to talk to you once again about baseball player development. I had the chance the, a couple of nights ago to speak to the um, DeKalb County Dugout Club and it was great seeing all of the great players from DeKalb County there to capture their awards. We had several players that did really well this season in DeKalb County. Uh, Javon Ray, one of our players, was the pitcher of the year. Corey King was the hitter of the year, and he won like seven awards. Javon won five or six. It was just a great night for those guys, and wanted to thank uh, the DeKalb County uh, Athletic Department and the DeKalb Dugout Cup for having me. And the topic that I was talking about the other night is how we're going to spend our currency, because right now, you know, there's only 7.8% African-American players in the major leagues, and there's 29% of the players that are from far poorer countries in the world, from Venezuela, Dominican Republic, some from Puerto Rico. And baseball tries to say it's an economic issue, and I'm here today to tell you that it's a not an economic issue, it's a player development issue. Those players are getting developed at younger ages by professionals over in those countries, and thus they're able to come over here and be more ready to play than our guys. So how do we go about changing the, the numbers and moving the needle. And the one thing I tried to talk to the guys about the other night, there are two types of currency. And I hope all of you know this, there's a currency with money, like we all use, the green stuff. And then there's a currency called time. You're either spending money or you're spending time. And we can control the time factor. You know, I have the same amount of 24 hours a day that anybody else does, Oprah Winfrey or Arnold Schwarzenegger or any of the other superstars that make millions and millions of dollars, they don't have any more time in their bank than I do. So at 12.01 a.m., my bank is full. And at 11.59 p.m., it is empty. And it works that way for all of us. So we have to really value our time and the time that we're spending on training. So what I'm here to tell you today is we're spending most of our time out playing baseball games when we probably should cut that time by two-thirds and spend two thirds of our time training to be a better athlete, getting in the gym and lifting weights, working on our speed, working on our technique, working on our mental game, and preparing to play good baseball. Right now, most of you spend 90% of your time playing baseball and about 10% of your time training to be a good baseball player. So what we've done is we created this showcase culture where we want to run out and take the exams before we take the classes. And it doesn't work that way to be a really good player. You've got to take the class, you've got to do the hard work, you've got to do the homework, and then you go take the test. And that's what we're doing with our Scouts USA facilities. We're teaching people to take the homework and do the homework and then take the test. So what we're trying to do is get players to buy in to training to be a good player, and then going out and playing. Playing is a big piece of the puzzle, but it's not the majority of the puzzle. The majority of the puzzle is preparing yourself to be a good player, preparing yourself to be a good student athlete, making good grades, getting stronger, getting faster, throwing harder, hitting the ball farther, getting good technique in your fielding, and then you go out and take the test. Then if you make a C on your test, then you know what you need to come work out on. If you make an A, then you always know there's room for improvement. And if you make an F, you know that you've got a lot to do. So think about that. Think about doing the coursework and then taking the test. You guys have a great day. If you ever need any help developing your player, feel free to give me a call at 706-833-3394. Or always, you can email me at info at scouts, S-C-O-U-T-Z, We'd love to help develop your player. We've been in the business 25 years, and I've had 101 guys go on to be drafted, and we feel like we have a, an outstanding player development system that we'd love to share with you. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you soon.